In a very short time I have taken some of my absolute favorite pictures with the Leica M4P. Could I have taken them with any other camera? Absolutely. Without the camera, however, I certainly wouldn't have found the motivation to take pictures at all so often. Therefore, I can say that it had a big part in these pictures. But that's often the case with new gear. To make a video in which I praise Leica is too easy for me. It's a wonderful piece of technology. Every function is in the right place and not without reason a Leica M is considered the best tool for street and documentary photography. Especially in places where the shot has to be just right. But in this video, I want to talk about the things that really bother me about the camera and that other of my cameras do better. But before I start with the video, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot to continue to produce videos for you. But now to the actual topic of this video. I tried to list all the things that bother me about the Leica M4P and certainly about its more desirable sister M6. I first came into contact with the Leica M6 through my friend Thomas. He owns it since ages and whenever I had it in my hands I immediately understood what is so special about Leicas. But back in the days, synthesizers and samplers were my money pit and it took me until 2020 until I bought my Leica. Since then, I have not regretted. Except maybe that I bought an analog Leica and, and that the prices for film have reached astronomical heights. And that's why I rarely use it right now. One of the biggest points that bothers me about a Leica M is the price. Unfortunately, rangefinder cameras are quite exotic among cameras. And so the price for the Leica M system is quite a gatekeeper. In one of my videos, I listed other, sometimes much cheaper used rangefinder cameras. The link to this video is supposed to appear in the top right corner. Or the left one, I don't know. Don't get me wrong, in a way a Leica is worth its money, but it would be nice if there were affordable digital alternatives. But the rangefinder market is unfortunately a niche market, so you always pay an extra for these cameras. The light meter. Either you don't have a light meter like with my Leica M4P or you have one that breaks on many models like the Leica M6. The light meter in Thomas uh, M6 is still working, so maybe it's an urban legend. In both cases it's good to know the Sunny 16 rule or you have an external light meter at hand. Meanwhile, there are many light meter apps that achieve quite accurate results, at least during the day. The Leica is a luxury item and can be recognized from afar, similar to an expensive watch. So if you don't necessarily want to show that you have well over 1000 euros hanging around your neck, you should rather look around for another camera, because even with the red dot masked off, you can recognize a Leica quite easily. Just like the camera bodies, the lenses are very expensive too. They are unbeaten, but together with a Zoomicon, your whole setup can quickly exceed 3000 euros. With faster Zoomilux lenses, the whole thing becomes even more expensive. I myself go for a Focalander Nocton. It has a little more character and is certainly not as perfect as a Leica lens, but I'm super happy with the optical performance and I don't see a reason to upgrade to a Zoomicon or Zoomilux for my street photos. I'm just not a pixel peeper and I'm aware that I took some of my best known photos with a simple kit lens. Now you know what things really bother me about my Leica M4P. Apart from the high price, these are all relatively minor points and the lack of a light meter really helped my work because I was forced to think about exposure after many years of photography with built-in light meters. The pleasant side effect is that since I've had the Leica without a light meter, I've also been exposing much better with my cameras that have a built-in light meter, even though I have mastered the theory for much longer. What things bother you about Leica M cameras? Feel free to tell me in the comments. I hope you had fun watching. See you next time.